Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of our Let's Play Season 2 of our Minecraft Feed the Beast. We're still in the Minecraft pack, no update as of yet. Um, but as you can see, I um, started up my first strip mine with my first diamond patch. Um, let's check the amount. We got four diamonds and we need three. So, hell yeah, we can make our turtle. And um, <laughs> I mined like almost nothing. And it's so funny that I can already get started with my turtle. Um, I love my turtle. Hopefully I can mine all this gold before it ends, and yes I could. S yeah, this is real messy, but my turtle will fix it later on. Um. Okay, so basically this is the strip mine I made. This one little strip. Um. A really small strip. That's what it is. Um. This is the ore I mined, and let's go upstairs. Make our turtle, make our computer. I kind of want to make an advanced computer, but advanced computer. I don't think I'm gonna have the gold for it. I need seven. I got five. Um, maybe the slag furnace will double my ores twice, and then I will have seven, and I'll be able to make an advanced computer. And why do I want an advanced computer? Well, an advanced computer has colors, and I kind of like colors. Um, I think they're cool. So um, yeah. But let's get upstairs first. Um, I really just mind five minutes to get all this. I love the ore gen. Um, so yeah, let's put all the ore away. Cool. If you just look at the amount of nightlight, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, okay, so I need three of these. I'm gonna need one more iron, some coal, like seven, the gold, some redstone, some sand. Ouch. That's gonna suck. Um, but yeah. Let's do this and get our sand quick. That's night. Then let's sleep quick. Oh, we can look at our farm. I kind of upgraded it. I kind of well, half and half. You'd say um. Come on, naughty guy. Why are you running away from me? You scared, bro? You scared, bro? Lol. Hello, I'm here, bro. Oh well. Here is the sand, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna mine 12 sand. That's all. Only 12 stupid sand blocks. Indeed. It's 10, 11, 12. 12 sand blocks more than enough. Um, let's look at the farm first actually. I gave it a little upgrade, I doubled its um, well, bigness. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's check it out. Nothing is ready yet except this. No, it's not. Shit. Um, oh, here. We got a wheat ready. I'm not going to replant them for now because I'm going to make a whole new design. I saw you. Come on, bro. Oh well, yeah, you blew up. Who cares? I can fix it. Welcome to Minecraft. I'm gonna do it the easy way. Always too lazy to fix creeper holes. Always. Um. Oh yeah, but let's get back to our house. The door is still open. I should get my sword ready. Okay, so the golds. Ah, I got six. Fuck you. Um. That sucks, and then I'm gonna need another iron ore. We're not going to have enough. Still no tin, though. Uh, tin is rather rare, I think. I think it's in higher levels. I should just go look there. I think caving would be better for this matter, but I'm too lazy to do it. So yeah, no advanced computer today. Um. Yeah, who cares? Who cares about advanced stuff? Um. Let's get our two coal over there. And start with the first thing we need, a computer. Computer. A glass. Uh, some clean stone. Got three right now. I'm going to need some more. Let's just make a second furnace. 
Um, put it right at the top. Oh, that's not where we want it, is it? Okay, another furnace. Mm. Oh yeah, let's take eight. Six ready net? Yo, no six yet. Okay, so the computer is then done. And then we need, of course, the turtle, the elf. The elf is made with seven iron eight chests. Okay, let's make our chest for the elf. Then the disc. Oh, more clean stone. Let's get more. I have no clue how much I added, but I think eight should be enough. Um, okay, we got seven glass right now. Sixteen of you. A redstone inside, and not enough clean stone. Okay, that should do it. Let's put the clean stone for our computer, then I'll go downstairs, write the program. Um, okay, the disk is a paper and a redstone. Of course, there's only one thing I do not have yet. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay. It's not that difficult to find some of it, isn't it? Oh well, might be difficult. Let's look around. Shouldn't be too hard. Well, it, a little bit hard, but not too hard. There's none over there. <coughs> we just need to find a crap ton of water. There's water here. Nope, unlucky. Do you have clay? No. No clay eater. <coughs> Sorry. Um we got more over here, but no clay nor other stuff. And there's the skeleton, I saw him. Just gonna skip over him. And right here, more water, but kinda unsuccessful again. Right here, more. What's this? I've seen this in Let's Plays. I have no clue what it is, and I want to know it. Oil sands. Oh, interesting. Um. Then right here, the other thing starts, and more water. Let's see how unsuccessful we are here. Very. Uh, I got the potatoes. Got a silverwood tree, which is a good thing. Um, ouch. This is going to suck. Oh yeah, right there. Cool, we got it finally. Um, not too much, but we got it. How much? Twelve. Well, that's enough. Then we have nine to replant, so let's make a little quick farm. Oh, it's so far. But our ores will be um, smelted, or the co cobblestone will be done, so that's a good thing, so we can make our turtle finally. Um, I kind of want to make a second computer to um, store the programs on, or we could just print them with a printer, but we don't have too much stuff. Um, all the programs I use in my uh, Let's Play are going to be put in Pastebin, and the Pastebin link's in the description. So if you just want to copy or look into my uh, program, and um, you never saw the time in the video, or you couldn't like pause it, or I didn't show the whole program, um, which might happen sometimes, then it will always be in the description. So uh, have a look right there. If you have any questions about the code I use, um, or have any suggestions, which will probably be it since I'm a noob in coding, um, comment them below. Um, I really appreciate if you do that. Um, I should make... Oh well. I'll make it later. Gotta keep three 
three of them. Um, let's go down here. In our little small house. I know this house sucks, but it's temporary. That's all my houses in the beginning of my let's play. Oh my god, what a mess in my inventory. What a mess. Um. Okay. So, got... How does this work again? I forgot. Turtle. How to make a turtle. Elf. Oh, the chest, of course. I'm a noob. Okay, then we got this guy. Sticks. Do we have sticks? We got wood. Diamond pick. Diamond elf. Mining elf. Okay, cool. Um, the disc. Well, let's get paper. Redstone makes it floppy. Then we just need the disc drive. Clingstone and redstone. Cool. Empty. More glass. Okay. Then we got everything set up. Okay. Um, that's the quick em emptying I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, this is the ore we got so far. I'll make a maze rating system later. First things first. Let's go down. Oh my God, no. Okay, we're safe. Oh, cool. Um. Hold space, this right here, this right there, the floppy. Um, turn. Right, do. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll make the program right now, actually. And um, I'll come back to you whenever the program is totally written or whenever we're ready to go. So see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, I totally wrote the program right here. Um right now I'm going to show you what it actually does and we're gonna test it and also I'm going to then write the next program the 3x3 three three miner and um, we can get started in um, making our whole system so basically I work with functions in this program a lot of functions basically the first function uh, is mine and basically it has a while loop that says turtle with deck is true that means if there's a block in front of it then it will be true. So turtle of the deck equals true. If there's a block in front of it, then do turtle dig. So basically, I'm instead of just writing turtle of dig, I use the while loop here to make sure that if there's gravel in front of it, it will mine all the gravel before it continues instead of mining one and then crashing. So basically, to prevent a crash, we do the turtle of dig, and then it also sleeps for half a second. You don't really need half a second here, but I'm just to make sure I wait half a second and that's basically to let the turtle no to let the gravel take its time to make the gravel fall for example if you would just don't have the sleep it would check and then the gravel would still be falling and it would say okay it's false but like half a second later there would be a gravel there because the gravel was still falling so we kinda need to wait until we make sure that all the gravel if there's any that it already has fallen. So that's why we take the while loop here. So as long as turtle.detect equals true, you gotta dig and you gotta sleep. Then after that's done, so after there's no more gravel or no more block in front of you, you can move forward, turtle up forward, and then you gotta sleep again. Um I still don't know why I need to sleep here, but yeah, I'm just keeping it because my program sometimes runs into failure if I don't have a sleep there so I'll just let it sleep there I mean it's half a second not that much then we got our second while loop um, the deck up basically exactly the same to um, do the gravel thing and we sleep again to make sure that if the gravel is falling um, we wait a bit so why don't we want gravel on top of the machine well that's really not that big of an issue but we want to make sure that it doesn't do that because else it will just continue and we won't have these nice 
uh, strip mines, but we'll have gravel just on the ground somewhere, and we want to prevent that. So that's why we'll have another while loop. And if it's all that, if it's done all that, so there's no more block in front, eh, it mined to block in front, it mined to block on top, then it mines the block down. So basically, we got a two by three area that's being cleared by this mine command. Then we got a new one, like if we are um, working with strip mines, we don't want mobs spawning in the strip mine because we're letting a turtle mine, and if a turtle, well, gets to a creeper, or just to make sure that there's no mobs, basically. <laughs> um, so we got a function, place torch slot num. Um, the slot num, we can put a number in there, the slot num is a number. Basically, uh, we can choose what slot num is, slot num 1, slot num 2, slot num 3, up till 16, that's basically the slots you see right here. We could put the torch there, then it would slot num equal 1, or we could put it 16, then it will be slot num equal 16. So if we then run function place torch 16, that means that we have put the torch in slot 16, it will select slot 16, it selects 16, it will go back, it will place it, and it will go forward. Why do we have the back and forward? Well, if we don't have that, the torch in my test, the torch, like, let me show you this. Um, give me my torches, please. So basically, I'm a turtle, right? And I'm mining a 2 by 3 area, so I'm right here, and I want to place a torch. Well, if the turtle is going to place a torch, it's going to place a torch like this. We don't want that. What we want to happen is it needs to go back and then place the torch. So the torch is right there or right there. Because if we let the torch be right here, it will, some seconds later, mine that block and the torch will be gone. So that's why I have the back there. And you could probably do it more fancy, but <laughs> I'm a noob, so I do it like this. Um, so then we got our place torch function done. Um, then we want to do the bigger function itself, the whole mine. Um, so we got to turn but right how long, so we basically want to know how many blocks do you want the strip mine to be deep, and then we will um, store that number into times, and then we'll we use that times in our function digger. Function digger basically digs out one straight line. So we got a for loop, uh, we want him to dig as long as from i, from 1 to the amount of blocks you want it to be. For example, if times equals 100, he will do 100 times the loop. So he will 100 times do mine. Mine is the function that we made earlier. And that function will do the trick and the function will mine one time a 2 by 3 area. So if you do that 100 times, you get one straight line. Uh, the, y the g you see here, well the g equals 1, that's a local variable we, um, we made in the beginning of the program. It needs every single time, it needs to do the g plus 1. Well, why does it need to do that? Because we want every seven blocks, we want to place a torch. Um, yeah, we want to do that because it's fun. Um, <laughs> so basically, G equals G plus 1. So after one mine, it will be G is 1. After two mines, 2. After eight mines, it will G equal 7. And if G equals 7, then we need to run our place torch function. So then it will place a torch, it will go back, it will place it, it will go forward, and then we want g equals zero again. So every eight blocks, actually, we will place a torch to make sure that we don't have any mob spawns. So that's our function digger. Then I added two more small functions here, the function move left and the function move right. Why do I have the function move left and why do I have the function move right? Well, if you only use digger, you will only have a straight line, but if you're strip mining, you want well, a couple of lines that are in two blocks away from each other. So you would like, instead of making one straight line, you would want a program to make two straight lines or four straight lines, because that's better. And that's tungsten I just found here. Yay. Um, it's pretty rare. That's why I'm happy. Um, so we want to make a strip mine, not just long mine. So that's why we have to move left and move right. At the end of one mine, we want him to move left. So we got four loop here. He needs to go straight. So first he turns left, then he goes straight for five blocks. Instead of five blocks, you could also put three blocks, but then you won't have at the back of your stream. So yeah, I need to like, hmm, I got a plan. Um, this is a strip mine, right? Um, so here's a strip mine and here's a strip mine. If you start your program, he will start here, 
he will mine, 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 and then he will turn left. And one cobblestone block is two blocks, let's say. And then, if you put him on three, what we will do is he'll mine this, and then he'll be up here, and he he'll turn left again. Then he'll do this, turn right, do all this. And you'll have a strip mine, but this block, these two blocks, will never be mined. So if you go to the back of your strip mine, well, you won't be able to walk at the back of your strip mine through the whole strip mine. So I let him mine this too, and then go back, turn left, and then continue. That's basically what he's doing right here. Um, so let's go back. Yeah, so that's what he does. He goes five times his mine command, and then he goes back twice and turns left. Same goes with the move right. He does it five times, goes back twice, and turns right. Okay, then finally, the end of our program. We got another term right here. How many times do you want a double shaft to happen? So, how many shafts do you want? If you say I want ten shafts, you put in five because it's a double shaft. Okay, so then it will equal that duration. Well, it will equal the number you put in, the read, to duration. And then we got another for loop here. So it will start, it's y will start at, uh, i will start at 1, and it will go till duration. If you have duration 5, so it will make 10 shafts, it will go once, twice, three times, four times, and five times. It will just run the loop five times. So what we have here, we have a digger, so one straight line, then we move left, then we dig once, so basically whenever we're right here, after two diggers, we'll be right here. But if we're working with a loop, well, we can't redo this thing because then he will just mine in the other direction. So we mon want him to move right, like this, turn right, and then execute it again to make another stream. And then we will have nice shafts. So that's the program to make the shafts. Um, let's test it right here. Um, how do you want to test it? Well, we would just go forward. Oh yeah, forgot to bring fuel. Um, these turtles need to be um, fed by fuel, so um, I'll just get a stack of coal, put it in the machine, and let them run. And um, hopefully, then yeah, I'll have to mine a crap ton of coal, basically. Um, but yeah, that's the program. Um, we'll test it right now, and then I'll go back to the other program, the three by three, uh, that he can mine. I need that program too, just because I need it. Um, I'll show you why I'll need it in a sec. But yeah, let's get this going. And torches. Um, let's make a stack here. Um, cool. Also, before we leave, I would like to make another pickaxe. Oh well. Let's just... I'll come back for my pickaxe later. Great. Okay, so basically before we go, I would like to copy strip mine to disk slash strip mine. So I have the program saved. Then let's put the fuel in and the torches. Oh, oh. Refuel all. Ching. And I refueled it. So basically what what it says right now, he can he can mine 5,120 blocks. No, I should say differently. He can mine, no, he can do 5,120 actions. So he could go 5,120 times forward, which he, or he could mine 5,120 blocks, basically. Okay. So let's get our program started here. Um, go forward, go up, oh, go up, turn right, go forward five, and then it should be right at the spot. Nope, go back. Okay. Um. So basically, I'm going to set him up right here, and I need a pickaxe too, because else it's going to be ugly right here. Anyway. Um. Let's put strip mine. Let's start a program. And let's say one ten long. And we want two double shafts. And then hopefully this is a test. I've never tested well. I've tested this, but um not in this world. I might have a typo in the program somewhere. Um so yeah, he plays this torch and he's continuing. 
He goes left. He goes straight. And then he'll go back. He'll turn left and he'll continue mining. Cool. We're kind of unlucky with our ores, apparently. Well, he's starting to mine right now, so... Oh man, it's lagging a bit, I think. I should give my server more RAM. Uh, hopefully tonight it will be fixed. See so yeah, we got some redstone, we can find some gold. So he'll continue a bit, and right now he'll s he'll start his uh, second four though, basically. Got some... Ooh. Got some coal here. Let's look right here, actually. Right now you'll see why I made this. To have a connection to the other uh, shafts. So yeah, that's the program. That's what I uh, came up with for my first program. I think it's pretty neat. I like it. Um, oh, there he is. He will turn left. Let's check for diamonds. No, well, I'm making some small shafts. I'll make them bigger. Got some more here. I'll make them like go 40 or something. Oh, okay. His last shaft he'll be making. There he got uranium, some coal. What's in his inventory? Cool. Um. Cool. Got some coal here. Pretty neat, huh? I like this system. Like it a lot. So basically, that's why I wanted uh, to make a 3x3 three three miner, just make a second turtle, and have the second turtle just mine out this whole stream, and then they can w nicely work together. Um, so yeah, this is what it does, and this is the ores that we got from the system. It works! <laughs> so, right now, we can just go up and store these ores, and then... Uh, set them up for a big shaft um what you do want to do what you yeah you need to make sure that the chunks that the um, guy is working in that it is always loaded these chunks you want to keep the chunks loaded it's really like if you don't keep the chunks loaded you'll have issues and he will stop working and you'll have to reboot him so keep the chunks loaded if he's wor if he's working and of course it's raining at the moment cool um, so what we wanted to do, oh, how's our iron going? 17 iron, cool. And that's enough for a computer. <laughs> so let's get a redstone. So I can make them work while I'm coding on the second program. That's my plan, basically. Okay, computer. Um, the ore. I'll just make two pickaxes. Well, I'm gonna need more sticks if I'm gonna make two pickaxes. Okay, that seems pretty cool. Let's store that away and sleep. Oh, you'll see my IP right now. Ooh. <laughs> um. I don't want to risk it, but I am going to. Wait, first things first. Put the sound off. Oh, and the rain quit. Cool. Is this a hard one? No, it's a small one. It's an easy one. That doesn't seem like an easy one, though. He has an iron sword in his hand. Oh, wh was that a diamond? It looked like a diamond enchanted sword to me. I'm gonna kill the creeper first to be sure. Um, And hopefully whenever we get a nice little paper factory going. <gasps> I never saw him. <laughs> Oh my god, I wasn't paying any attention. That was bad. Um, so yeah, whenever we get a paper factory going, we'll be able to get s working on um, the actual Tombcraft stuff too. This is not the end of the episode, actually. So I shouldn't be saying what we will do next time. <laughs> um... Let's get all our stuff together. We didn't really lose anything. Um, cool. Cool. 
Okay, let's get back to the farm right now. Um, so we got these guys ready. Nice and peaceful. These guys are ready. This is ready. This is ready. You're ready. Um. Okay, those are ready too. Oh, those two. Yeah, kind of. Um. So whenever the whole farm is ready, I'll be totally redoing it, redesigning it, and um. Let's farm these guys in a while. I'm gonna redesign this too. Let's do that first, actually. We want the whole circle around. Let's make a shovel, get some dirt going. Um, I got some dirt, so only need a shovel, basically. And I got cobblestone too. First things first, let's get rid of all this crap. Um. Actually, we don't have so much wood, but I kind of want to do it. Oh well, why not? No, no, that won't work. Let's do this. Um, make a barrel. I know it's costly for our wood supply, but I kind of want to do it for our cobblestone because we are going to be getting quite some cobble, so I want to be able to store it all. Oh, I wasted it. Um, okay, no problem. Oh, crap. Okay, the shovel is ready. Let's go upstairs and fix this, and then I'll work on the turtles a little bit more. Um, making a nice artificial pond here. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to make it look a little bit nice, but I'm having a hard time doing this. Um, oh well, I can do it like this. Okay, cool. So, all this is ready. Let's make it a little bit nicer now. Well, it's nice enough. Looks pretty cool. And there's more stuff ready here. You are ready. You are ready. Okay, cool. Let's get back down and I'll set stuff up and I'll do the other program that I'm making and then I'll come back to you guys. So let's get down there. Okay guys, also the next program is totally written, it's all ready. Um, but before we go there, let's check out the mineshaft he's been making. Um, so yeah, we got some blue zycorium. Oh, my sound is off. What do we have more? Oh. Some nice nycolite here. Oh my god, so much. These nycolite patches are so big. I kind of start hating them right now. To be honest. Um. Anyway, um, so we got this nycolite too. And the stuff in the robot, obviously. Oh, lapis. Oh, yeah. We got some rubies. Nice. Hopefully the robot has a ruby, too. Because I kind of need rubies for my pickaxes. Um, no, oh, add in here, too. Still no tin in the whole world, man. Fuck. I think tin is just on other levels. Not on the level I am at right now. Um... Let's continue our search. 
Diamonds. Nice. Okay, let's make more turtles. Haha, <laughs> great. Nine diamonds. A patch of nine diamonds. In some way, I like turtles. I don't think I'm the only one. Um. Okay, but let's continue over here. Got some lapis. Another ruby, but a different type of ruby. Another um, Grek deck ruby. Some aluminum, more iron. Oh man, this is great. More useless Psychorium. Oh, it's far already. Even more useless Psychorium ore. More aluminum. Oh, what's this? Ferris ore. Uh, I hope it will be tin. Um. No, oh, uranium. <laughs> I'll take it later. Oh, another type of ruby. Well, emeralds, glass, sapphire. It's all the same. All they all have the same function in the game. Um. More useless psychorium. You see how easy it is to just get ores with turtles? Imagine a system with like five mining turtles. Automatically, but yeah, I got a coat. A little bit better to do that. <laughs> but it'll be great. Cool. <laughs> oh man, look at this profit. Okay, the golds. Time to make an advanced computer, I guess. Cool. Let's continue along. We should place that torch that we just got right here. Oh. Oh, oh nice. Another different type of emeralds. And a lot of them, too. So basically these emeralds you can make pickaxes and stuff with them and they have the same speed of no wait I don't remember they have the same speed as diamonds but no wait hmm. they have the same speed as iron or something it's something they are better than iron basically <laughs> um that's what it is okay oh my god his inventory is full Oh, oh, we gotta fix it. Yeah, like, I really need the GPS tower to fix stuff like that with the uh, inventory full and stuff. Oh my god, look at all this ore. Looks great if you ask me. Um, but yeah, let's get picking up the stuff he dropped. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Not here. It's further, a lot further. Gonna take this redstone arm here. Oh, useless Zycorium. Never waiting to take useless Zycorium. But I should get started on taking the stuff he lost first. Um, because there might be diamonds and. We don't want them to drop those, do we? Um, I think it's his last run, actually. Let's unload him here. Okay, that's better. Now he can continue peacefully. Now we can do the same. Oh my god, this is like the only mining I'm gonna record. I just wanted to show you how good the turtle is. That's why I record this mining experience. Um more lovely rubies that are needed for Greg deck. There's so much Nikolite in the world, so I hope it has good uses. Well, it, it has in red power, but I don't think you need that much of it. 
actually. Um, aluminum. More gold. Oh man, I love this turtle. We got nine diamonds. If we want, we could make three more turtles. I think I'm just gonna make two more. Yeah, I think two more should be fine. And work all night on my system. I'm definitely going to work on it. Um, make it perfect. Because right now it's kind of well making not so long shafts, but he's making a lot of them. I think I just want him to go like 50 blocks in a shaft and make like less shafts. Um, oh my god, okay. When is he going to sh stop? I ordered them to make five double shafts, so ten shafts actually. That's a lot, apparently. Well, this is definitely, hopefully, his last run. I, I feel bad about not mining it, so I'm mining it, but it's so useless. Like it's, it has a use, but it's so much of it, man. Ah, oh, it's even borier, bory, more boring to mine it coal. Can't be borier. That would be weird. Um. So yeah, definitely have a look at the code. Um. In the description. I kind of want to talk about the 3x3 three three turtle, but I think we're going to run out of time if I do that. So... Let's get back to base before... Oh, we got a minus iron somewhere. Somewhere there's out right there. So yeah, it's really worth it's 3 diamonds, I think. And it's tiny bit of coal it needs. Um, so yeah, I'll stay with the turtle until he's done with his work. I'll check the time on the video and I will come back. Oh my god, so much gobble. And I will come back to you guys. Um, the program is ready though. I could just, yeah, let's show it and then end the video. So basically the same function to mine, the same function to dig from the other one. Uh, the move left is different though. We will. We don't want in a three by three mining. We don't want him to move left five times. We only want him to move left once because you want him to mine lines. You kind of want him to mine straight strip mines right next to each other, so without an interval. So basically, what we do is we turn left, we mine, and we turn left, and immediately right next to the mine he just mined, he needs to mine another mine. Right next to the mine he just mined, he needs. To, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, the move right just the same. One right, a mine, and a right. And then, we don't have fancy stuff here, just we dig her, we dig one mine, we move left, we dig another mine, we move right, and we dig another mine. But I gotta put that in a for loop if I wanna make a, a fancier system, I think. Yeah, definitely, because if you would put this in a for loop, you could order it to mine a 6x3, or a 12x3, a or a 9x3. Yeah, let's do that right now, actually. Um, we're gonna need a turn to right. How many three by trees? Question mark. One equals three. Two equals six by three. Okay, let's do this. And oh oh oh. Okay. And how do you want to call this? Let's call them um, A. A equals the read. And we got a for loop. Ooh. We got a for loop here. Um, Z. No, we already got Z. Let's do C this time. C equals 1 to A. Do. Oh, but that might be an issue, won't it? Might have to think this over first. Because after the loop, like after you do the digger, 
he's going to be at the spot to go even further and not at this spot like digger move left and digger move right and digger then we got then he's going to end up like if this is your 3x3 three three, he's going to end up right there while the next thing to start is right there so you'd have to make a move left again yeah you gotta make a move left again and not do another digger first move left a digger and then a move right oh crap yeah I might have to think this over better unless we do a digger move a digger move left digger move right digger move left wait a digger move left a digger move right and a digger move unless we make three fun two 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 different functions we make a function digger move left and we make a function digger move right and then we can play around with these functions I'll do that off recording I got an idea how to code it but I'll do it off recording so yeah that's the 3x3 three three program I came up with oh crap now I totally ruined it didn't I oh my god no I ruined it we need a digger we need a move left a digger a move right and a digger okay let's save it let's exit it and let's have a look at our turtle one more oh got a minus gold as I see it um oh more useless diecraft ore oh man Okay, cool. Um, I'm not mining this coal because my digging program is going to do it. My tree by tree digger. Um, oh my god, no. Full again? Shit. He's full for some stuff and not full for other stuff, so. Gotta pick it up fast. Yeah, it's because of the cobblestone he's getting so full. Um, but anyway, he's done, so that's a good thing. Now we can make him turn right and go forward like 15 times. Make him go back to base, basically. Okay, but before we go, let's, um, you know what, I'll... No, I'll stop here. Um... Let's let's go back to base. Go forward another thirty times. That should be far enough. Okay, um I'll stop it right here. I'll make him go back to base and copy over the program. Now we'll have to control T it. Turn right go forward five. Way too much. Go back. Turn, wait, let me think about it. Turn right, go down. And then he was back to base. Copy 3x3 to disk slash 3x3. Copy disk slash 3x3 to 3x3. Cool, we got a 3x3 program going right now. Um, so what we can do is go forward 3. Turn right. Go forward forward two go up and turn left oh go up cool and right now what you can do is you can run 3x3 oh how long that's a good question actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <laughs> 31, oh crap. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 50. <laughs> yeah, let's zoom 50. That should be enough. Um, But he will be 
How long? 50. Uh oh. No, no, no. Terminate, 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 terminate. I ruined it. Uh, go back. Turn right, go forward. Go forward, I said. Turn left. Gotta start right there. 3x3. 50. That's better. Um, cool. Really cool. Really awesome. I need to get more inventory space. Like the cobblestone, man, I've got too much of it. I'll set up a little chest place up here. But for now, I'm just going to look at my turtle. So, guys, thanks for watching this longer episode today. I think it's like 50 minutes. I'm not sure. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and do your thing. And definitely go look up the code. It's a real cool program. Um, it's my first one. So, don't be too harsh and all. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. I like my turtle system. Only one turtle for now, but imagine like the 3x3 three three program with five turtles and they just mine out an area. You would get so much cobblestone, so much ore. Probably even, yeah. It will be easier. Like right now with the shafts, I gotta get quite some ores myself still. But if you just let them mine out a whole area, you don't need to get ores. So I might try and. Oh, is that diamonds? Hell yeah, that's diamonds. You know, that's why when the strip mining, you always gotta look up yourself what the hell the turtle was doing. Um, but yeah, eight more diamonds here. Hooray. We got like 17 diamonds already. Let's walk through the strips first. Fast. Just, <laughs> I can't stop telling you guys about the turtle. Level 25 already. Um, might look for a experience thing enchantment table um he should be stopping already soon why isn't he stopping why aren't you stopping bro i thought 50 would be yeah he's turning cool so he'll be continuing with that kind of lovely um see you guys next time Caution.